just went through so much. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. It's Kayla Simone here back with another video and y'all Let me just tell y'all I just went through so much in the last hour Like okay first I don't know if y'all know but in order to get on a cruise you have to have a COVID test before you go And I thought I thought it was only you could only have a PCR test So me and my family will we are scheduled my mom scheduled everybody but I went at a different time than them. I went before them because I was staying in my apartment. My apartment is up the street from the mall, which they're doing testing at. So, you know, um, I get tested or whatever. And my mom texted me this morning saying, did you get your results? And I'm like, oh, no, not yet. And she was like, okay, well, you might want to, you know, call up there, go up there and tell them you haven't got your results yet. Because, you know, it's not normal for you not to have your results yet. So I was like, okay, cool. So... I um I called up there and she said my results are still pending so I'm like okay so I give it a few hours I do what I gotta do I come home and um I call them again so hold on y'all I didn't get my test results so I called again and she said they're still pending but you know they should be here I would just check back tomorrow morning and I'm like I don't have time to be waiting tomorrow morning like I need to know today because my cruise, I leave for the cruise tomorrow, y'all. It's Sunday. I go on the cruise Monday. My flight is at like 5 in the morning, but we're leaving from Greensboro at 1 in the morning because we're going to, we're, we're flying to uh, Florida at, from RD. So, yeah. So, you know, I'm like, okay. So, I was like, dang, I'm just going to go all the way back up there. I just, mind you, I just said my apartment is near the mall where they're testing so yeah, I went all the way to Burlington and I had to come all the way back over that way, which is like 25 minutes. So I'm like, okay, so I go over there, I ask the lady, I'm like, yeah, you know, um, I was told to come back here, like my family got their results and I'm the only one who didn't get the results yet. So like, is there anything I can do? Like, can you speed the process up or whatever? She was like, well, you know, they'll come, you know, and I told her about the cruise and stuff. She said, you know, um, it should come, um, give me your name and your number, your birthday and stuff, and we'll see if we can like, I can like force it through and help help you get your results now like soon today so I'm like okay so I was like okay I told my mom she said well in the meantime you go to a Walgreens and see if you can get a rapid test so I was like okay cool so I went to the Walgreens up the street from the mall and they didn't do testing but they told me the one in McKay or something does testing which is all the way in Jamestown that's another 10 minute so you had to go all the way to Jamestown to go see if they give me a test she tell me she can't give me a test I um I'm sitting here begging. I didn't beg, but I was just like, you know, please, like, I really have to get a COVID test now and quick. Like, I don't have an appointment. So, yeah, she was like, well, you have to have an appointment because that's the way we have to get the information and stuff and all that. So, I'm like, okay. Now I'm panicking because I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I called my mom. I'm about to cry. And, no, I was on the phone with my dad. Now, first I called my mom. She won't answer it. So, that was already irritating me. I'm already stressed out. So I call my dad and tell her like where my mom at. Like I'm trying to call her, and he was like, "Yeah, she ain't with her. She ain't had her phone with her." So I'm like, "Okay." So I tell him what's going on, and then I'm on the phone with him. All of a sudden, uh, the same number for the place that does a COVID test to call me. So I'm like, "Okay, maybe she's about to give me some good news." So she tells me, you know, I was doing some research, and I I am able to give you a rapid um, COVID test, a rapid antigen test. And um, uh, you can see if they can like take those type of tests. So I'm like, okay, that's good. But I'm still a little nervous because I'm like, okay, do they even take those tests? So my mom sends me a list of tests that the, the cruise does take, and they do take the rapid antigen test if you are vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. Got a little car. I want to show y'all about my information on them. So I was able to get my COVID test, and I was a little nervous. So I was like, why is my COVID test not coming back in time? Thinking I got COVID or something. I'm actually negative, so she gave me two documents. One is like a doctor's note, kind of, and the other is just like basically like a little paper saying I'm negative, but they should take both of these and be good. So, yeah. 
that's what that's how I was just stressing out but um I'll just talk to y'all later hey y'all it's currently like 12 12 ish and we're still waiting for everybody we're gonna leave here at one because like I told y'all I don't know if I told y'all but we're flying out of RDU um to go to Orlando because that's where our we're boarding the cruise at but I did not go to sleep nobody sleep only person to sleep is Mila the little baby sister and um enjoying it so hey mm -hmm. yeah I just made him an intro so y'all gotta go subscribe to his channel MJ thank you cool right so yeah I'll put it in the description and I'll put it down below. But yeah, so um so we just wait for everybody to get ready. I'm all packed. You know, this is my personal bag with my blanket and all my stuff is in there. I'm glad I got everything in there. Cause y'all know. I don't know if y'all know, but y'all know I like the I be having like 15 outfits. So but um yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this clip. I'll probably see y'all when I get to the airport. Cause I gotta get situated. I gotta get my mind right. so So Mila's in a good mood now. Say hey. Say hey guys. They said they like your hair. Your hair is cute. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we are at the airport. It is currently like 2.30. Our flight, I think, well I think we board our flight at like 5. Um, I'm having a hard time with these, this bag. But, um, yeah, we board our flight at 5. So we're running on good time. I'm surprisingly not tired. I took a little nap in the car. Well, let me hurry up. We better get on the elevator. But yeah, that's the update for where we are right now. Y'all, we just went through the most stressful thing ever. Uh, we're on we're doing frontier like the line and they it used to be 50 pounds like 50 pounds or less you good they changed it to 40 so my bag was like 48 pounds which is eight pounds over it and if you are over you have to pay an extra 60 dollars it already cost 70 no it already cost 60 dollars to check the bag so i was like so we taking stuff out of the bag trying to put them into different bags trying to equal the weight out like but we made it through so, then our flight got changed. It got changed to like, what'd you say, 4 o'clock or 4.30? Uh -huh. 4.30? It got changed from 5.15 to 4.30. So, we like, oh my gosh. Like, And I literally just looked at the time right before we walked into the airport. Like, this is like a headache. All right, y'all. So, we just got through TSA, gladly. Uh, it was just a mess. Like. It was a mess, but not as much as a mess as us getting our bags checked. Like, terrible. But we're walking to the gate, and we're making the time just like just in time, just because they changed the flight. So, yeah. So we just got off the flight and that was the worst flight ever like the absolute worst we had to sit all the way in the back the flight was dark for a good amount of time uh we felt everything 
what else? And then like I had to pee really bad. I had to use the bathroom on there, and I hate using the bathroom on planes because the bathroom is so small. Like it was just so terrible. Then I had an aisle seat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then um, we had an aisle seat. I had an aisle seat, and I couldn't see. Barely anybody had their window open, so. I couldn't see what's going on, so my mom was getting messed up because I'm like, okay, I'm feeling all this stuff, but I can't see what's going on. So it was terrible, but I'm glad I'm on the ground now. So, but we're about to head and get our bags. So, yeah. So, all our bags came fairly fast, really fast, actually. Under two and under, you have to be. Um, you have to get. You have to have a COVID. Uh, you have to get two COVID tests. You have to get COVID tests 48 hours to 24 hours before the cruise, and then they have to get tested again once you get to the um, port or whatever. So we're just waiting on that, and then we'll be good to go. Um, I'm very excited. I'm ready. I'm very anxious. So y'all know I'm not patient. So I'm like. Okay. This over there. Okay. She's ready for the cruise. Okay. 
Kylie. That's you. Okay. Keisha. Keisha right here. Oh, did I give it on? No, you're supposed to be in our cabin. Oh, okay. No, you're in this cabin. You have okay. a 416. I need Mitchell. Mitchell right here. You swear in this cabin? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it's I did. So y'all, we got through successfully. Okay. okay. We gotta walk through. Let's take pictures in front of the... Get my ticket. Good girl. Okay. So you gotta go through so many different oh there's gonna cruise. Oh yeah, we about to walk through. There's our cruise. Party time. Party time. Yeah. Party time. Yeah. Hey Uncle Dennis. Hey Google. No, oh, I was telling them earlier, like, you basically uh, being like mama. No, for real. Like, walk, walking through that airport. Because one thing about it, if you want to take somebody to the airport, take me, because I'm going to get you girl. I did. I'm like, where Kylie? Where Kylie? You in front of us. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I look back. Y'all know where to be found. What do y'all do? Bro, I'm dead. Like, come on now. I can't Ready? You. Just annoying me, and I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew up it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gonna do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside. Waiting for the elevator. But we are confused about where we need to go. Oh, oh, okay. So we just let's just sit out on the steps. I'm gonna sit right here. All right, so I'm about to give y'all a room tour. I got it like zoomed out in a wide angle so I can see everything because it's a really small room. So you have the mirror, TV, and like a little desk right here area. That's Kylie. Then we have the bathroom. Cadence is in there using the bathroom. Bathroom ain't nothing special, but this is a closet. Well, I guess, and this is another part of the closet. And then this is another closet. Interesting. 
Um, this is another mirror. It's Kali again. <laughs> and this is another bed. And then this is a pull-out bed, but they said please call Stuart for assistance with extra beds. So we can't put that down ourselves. We gotta have somebody come put it down. So yeah. And we got some beach towels up under there. But we're about to go eat. So I'll see y'all on deck nine. When I say deck nine, I mean I'm gonna go eat. Her. Yeah, we're in the lunch area, the I guess you could say cafeteria. It's really cute. Holly getting salad over there. What you want to eat, Cadence? I want salad. You want salad? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot you like salad. But yeah, this is it's like every different type of food you can want. They have like a deli over there. Um, what you want in your salad? I want. Of course, they're gonna give me so I want. So as y'all can see, I'm gonna go to bed because I got the headscarf on. But 
this is the end of day one on my cruise vacation i hope y'all enjoy and stay tuned for day two bye oh,